Welcome back. Well, the National Guard stationed in Washington, D.C. at the Capitol might stay until at least, get this, the fall. Some lawmakers, including our next guest, want to know why their state's Guard members are not returning home. Joining me now, Michigan GOP Congresswoman Lisa McLean. Lisa, thank you so much for being here. You're also on the House Armed Services Committee. You've raised questions about this in the past. What do you know about the potential for troops staying many more months? Well, the only briefings that we've had is, is through the media, really, is uh, <laughs> that the troops may be staying there through, through the fall, which is extremely concerning because myself and several of my colleagues has, have asked Nancy Pelosi for a briefing as to why do we need these troops here. And we have received zero information, zero. It's amazing to me that she that she can do this without any disclosure, without any information, and just continue to spend money with no briefing. Doesn't make sense to me. Well, I would think this would be of interest to the House Armed Services Committee, of course. And you sent a letter with other members of Congress in late January. You're saying you never got a response. That was when the deployment time was to the end of March. Now we're talking about August, September, October. There has to be a point at which there's a rationalization where other members of Congress are made aware as to the why? Well, that's the biggest issue is just tell me why. I feel like there's a boogeyman under my bed. So at the end of the day is just explain to us why we have the National Guard troops. Think about it um, this way. We have more service men and women protecting the Capitol than we do in Iraq and Afghanistan mm -hmm. co combined, to the tune of already $500 million. And that number for the taxpayers is only going to grow if we keep them there. Well, and, and you mentioned boogeyman. Congresswoman, uh, maybe that's what it's all about. Maybe the, the extending the idea that uh, of January 6th and the, that the threat is ever present, could that be part of the rationale? Well, it sure does seem like it's a lot of symbolism over substance, doesn't it? You, you know, the Washington, D.C. is an absolute ghost town. I feel completely safe. There's no one there. And I'll share this with you. They're gonna they're talking about sending a thousand more National Guard troops from my state of Michigan for for reasons that we don't know. I would rather put those National Guard men and women to help my constituents in my state help with the distribution of the COVID relief uh, <laughs> vaccination. That I know is a credible threat. This threat over here, I have no idea because we can't even get a briefing on it. Unreal. Uh, Representative Lisa McLean, thank you so much. Unfortunately, your governor there in Michigan, all too happy to participate, I'm sure, in the deployment of those troops. Thank you so much for your time. Consider this your briefing on the threat assessment uh, in Washington, D.C. right now. Thank you. Thank you.